What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. And uh, today's episode isn't about a specific game. It's actually about gamers. And um, I didn't realize that there was still these console wars going on with these fanboys. These like lunatic gamers that actually get mad and fight online about uh, which one's better. The Xbox or the PlayStation. Who gives a shit? The way I look at it is that like this. Both systems are good. And it comes down to preference. You know, I've said in numerous videos. You can you can see behind me. I have, well, you can't see all the consoles. But I, I own every uh, PlayStation. I only have one Xbox. And that's the original. And the reason for that is not because I think Xbox sucks. It has nothing to do with that. It all came down to the controllers. I prefer Sony's controllers. I like the way that the analog sticks are set on the Sony controllers, where the Xbox has them like offset. Not comfortable to me. I'm just not. I, I hate their controllers. Don't hate the system. Hate their controllers. Big difference. But just the fact that people actually like fight over this online just baffles me because I thought gaming was all about fun. At least it is for me. You know, I game to like clear my mind and get away from the dumb shit. So what's what's the point in fighting over this? I mean, it's stupid. Why would you root against uh any of these companies because you want Sony to succeed. You want Microsoft to succeed. You want Atari to succeed. You want Sega to succeed. You want Blaze Evercade to succeed. You want all these companies to succeed because that gives us, gamers, more options, more games to pick from. So it'd be dumb to want one or two or all of them except the one that you like to to just flop. I mean, that that's just dumb. I mean, I, I just can't believe... Like how bad people get into these arguments online over this. And it's not just about consoles. It's about games too. It's like who gives a shit if if you don't like a certain game that everyone else likes. There's many games that a lot of people love that I don't like. But I'm not going to bash them people for liking them. I mean, that's their preference, man. Like, I'm not into puzzle games. A lot of people are into puzzle games. I'm not. I think they're boring. Um, First-person shooters, I can't do it. I get I get an instant headache. I mean, migraine, bad. I can't do them. Um, I've mentioned stuff about Zelda. Uh, I, you know, Zelda is a huge, you know, franchise. And they have tons of fans and everything. I wish I could like the games. I think they're, like, game-wise, they're great. I just can't play them because I can't get invested in Link as a character. Just doesn't float my boat, man. But uh, I'm not going to bash Zelda and say, man, them fucking games are awful. Obviously, they're not. They sell millions, and they have millions of fans. It's a great franchise, man, but it's not a franchise for me. Just like... Not everybody is a Sony fan. A lot of people are Microsoft fans. Who gives a shit, man? Who cares, man? More power to you, man. If you like Microsoft, do the Microsoft. If you like Sony, do the Sony. If you don't like either, play Atari. Play Evercade. Play Nintendo. Play Genesis. Something, man. Who who cares, man? It's It's gaming. It's all about having fun and freeing your mind and everything. I just think it's... Uh, you know, I think it's funny. I, I never really jump in on the conversations when I see these console war fights going on. I just kind of sit back and laugh. But uh, it it just baffles me, man. I, I don't get it. I mean, who cares if, if, if we all liked the same things, then it would be boring. Life would be boring. I mean, we... It's, it's good that we all have different tastes you know it's good that we look at things different that's a good thing i mean uh, you shouldn't get pissed off at someone 
or try to convert somebody to like something that you know they just don't like who who cares man so i i just don't get it i mean i haven't really had that on this channel uh i've had a few people you know kind of kind of you know throw some stones at me because i didn't like something that they liked but whatever man you just you just let that go it's not a big deal it's the internet you're gonna get people like that which is really the reason i don't play games online uh that's another thing that's not for me i don't do online play so like when these games uh are like re-released or something like that and they don't have the online feature i could give a shit less man because i don't do online in fact uh quick little story the reason i don't do online is uh, I, I remember the first time I ever did it. Well, I shouldn't say it's the first time because I used to have a gaming PC and I used to do PC gaming. And yeah, I just, I didn't like wearing headphones and talking and playing. When I play, I like single player games where I can just chill and relax and play. But I did get into a, a hockey tournament online on one of the EA hockey games. I, I think this was... Uh, maybe PlayStation 3 era, and, um, man, I was playing this kid, and, man, he, he was just running his mouth, saying how much I sucked and everything, because I always play it at all-star level, but these kids that are, like, way younger, you know, they don't have jobs, so they sit and play video games all day, so they're pretty badass, man, I was giving him credit, I was like, damn, dude, you're beating the shit out of me, and then all of a sudden, hey, you suck, you suck, how old are you, and, it's like, seriously? Are you kidding me? So I just took my headphones off and I was like, I'm not listening to this kid anymore. Granted, he beat my ass, but that's not the reason I stopped playing. It, it, the reason I stopped is because that's what you deal with online. You're always going to have people like that, especially like young little kids, man, that, you know, they they think those shit don't stink. But, you know, it's it's cool. I mean, it's it's the Internet, man. It's That's what it's there for, the voice and stuff didn't hurt my feelings i mean let the kid do what he wants and let him play let him talk his shit but yeah i'm just not into that stuff but but that you know that is where i'm getting at like that kind of rolls over into this whole console war things like these people just take their gaming way way too serious and it's it's not about that man it's about just having a good time and playing what you like so yeah, it does. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this whole like stupid console war that I didn't even know was still going on. Um, you know, the last time I was reading comments and stuff, God, it's been months ago. But then the reason it popped up is because I I ran into it again today. So it's like like what this shit's still going on. So let me know what you guys think of this dumb shit. Um, you know, I, to me, it's just all about preference. So, hey, man, thanks for uh, taking a minute to listen to me rant and get some shit off my chest. And uh, don't forget, on November 11th, I will be doing a uh, double episode of the Retro Hour in celebration of the one-year anniversary of this channel, Game Freak. And uh, that's actually on November 12th, the one-year anniversary, but... We will be celebrating the uh, night early. Why not? Have some drinks. Uh, do some gaming. And I hope to see you all there that night. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You guys are badass. And until the next episode, game on.